Good morning students. Today we are going to see class 8 mathematics rational numbers. In previous class you know the definition of rational numbers, plotting of rational numbers on a number line, equivalent rational numbers, comparison of rational numbers and rational numbers between any two given rational numbers. Now we are going to study operations on rational numbers. Three friends are celebrating the victory with pizza party. And they had one fourth of the pizza. While Agamat had three by eight of the pizza. What fraction of the pizza? Andy and Agamat add in total. But the numbers 1 by 4 and 3 by 8 for rational numbers. To get the total fraction of pizza add by Andy and Agamas, we need to add the rational numbers. Let's study how to perform operations on rational numbers. Let's try to add two rational numbers with same denominator. It's simple. We just have to add the numerator keeping the same denominator. But how to add two rational numbers with different denominators? First, take the LCM of two denominators. The denominators are 6 and 9. I write the number separated by comma. It's like an L shape. Next is we write a common factor on the left. That is we write a factor which is common to both the numbers. Three is factor common to both the numbers. So we write three here on the left. Three times two is six. 3 times 3 is 9. 2 and 3 are co-prime numbers. They have no common factors except 1. LCM is equal to product of factors and numbers in the last line. LCM is equal to 3 into 2 into 3. It's equal to 18. So, LCM of 6 and 9 is 18. The next step is to multiply the numerator and denominator of both fractions to get 18 as denominator. Now, both the rational numbers are same denominator. Now, it is a less fraction. So, adding the two numerator, we get minus 1 by 18. Let's now add the fractions of these are Andy and Agamas add. First, take the LCM of 4 and 8. Write the denominator separated by comma. Next step, we write a common factor on the list. 2 is factor common to both the numbers. So, we write 2 here on the list. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 4 is 8. We draw the L shape again. 2 is factor common to both the numbers 2 and 4. So, we write 2 here on the list. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 1 and 2 are co-prime numbers. They have no common factors except 1. LCM is equal to product of factors and numbers in the last line. So, LCM is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 is equal to 8. So, LCM of 4 and 8 is 8. Multiply the numerator and denominator of rational numbers 1 by 4 by 2 is 2 by 8. And 3 by 8 by 1 is 3 by 8. Now, add the numerators to get the fraction of pizza and the and other add. 
they had 5 by 8 of Caesar. Let's see an another example. Minus 6 by 7 plus minus 2 by 9. First, take the LCM of 7 and 9. 7 and 9 also prime numbers. They have no common factors except 1. So, LCM of 7 and 9 is 63. Multiply the numerator and denominator of rational numbers. Minus 6 by 7 by 9 is minus 64 by 63. And minus 2 by 9 by 7 is minus 14 by 63. Now, adding the numerators, we get minus 68 by 63. Can you guess the sum of minus 1 by 4 and 1 by 4? The answer is 0. Here, 1 by 4 is the additive inverse of minus 1 by 4 and vice versa. Additive inverse of a rational number is a rational number. Then added to another rational number gives the sum 0. Next, let's find the difference between two rational numbers. Yes, the denominators are same. It is a like fraction. Now, find the difference between the numerators. Next, let's try to find the difference between two rational numbers with different denominators. First, take the LCM of the denominator. 7 and 5 are co-prime numbers. They have no common factors except 1. So, LCM of 7 and 5 is 38. Multiply the numerator and denominator of rational numbers. Minus 2 by 5 by 7 is 14 by 35. And 3 by 7 by 5 is 15 by 35. Now, find the difference between the numerators. Since the denominators are same. We can also add the additive inverse of the number subtracted to find the difference between two rational numbers. The additive inverse of 5 by 7 is minus 5 by 7. So, we can add minus 5 by 7 to 11 by 21. Follow the steps and find the difference between the two rational numbers. Next, we are going to learn about multiplication of rational numbers. The product of rational numbers by multiplying the numerator of the given rational numbers and then multiplying the denominator of the rational numbers. If we have to multiply a rational number with an integer, then multiply the integer with numerator. The reciprocal of the number by revising numerator and denominator, it means the numerator becomes denominator and denominator becomes numerator. The product of a number with the reciprocal always 1. We can divide one rational number from an other by multiplying the rational number with reciprocal of the other rational number. Let's summarize what we have learned so far. First one, we can add or subtract the rational numbers with same denominator by adding or subtracting the numerator and keeping the denominator same. Second one, rational numbers with different denominators are added by first taking the LCM of the two denominators and then converting both the rational numbers to the equivalent form having the LCM as the denominator. Third one, we add the additive inverse of the number to be subtracted to the other number 
well subtraction of rational numbers fourth one we can find the product of the rational numbers by finding the product of the numerator and denominator separately and sixth one we divide one rational number by other by multiplying the rational number by the reciprocal of the other now using this method do the following <laughs>